In this video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over with a portable power station, and this is by the company Primax. I have been using this, but I put it back in the box for the purpose of this video. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kinda like go over it real quick and go over some of the specs for you. Number one, it's pure swine wave. It's 296 watt hours, 300 watts peak. And just rolling it over on its side here, let's look over the box. You can see right here, it is portable power. It has an AC output, a DC DC output, a USB output, a type C output, and it's got a quick charge 3.0. So it does have like fast charging to it. And on the side, it has a small fan for keeping it cool. It also has a spot for a solar panel, which I will be showing y'all exactly where, how the solar panel charges this thing. So coming over some of the safety features of it, it's got an overcharge proof, it's over discharge proof, it's over current proof, over power proof, and short circuit proof, basically over everything proof according to their spec this thing up and let me show you what you get like I said I have been using it so I know exactly what it does and how much energy it can put out so open it up you see right away you get this foam piece right here and we'll set that there and then it's the unit in a wrapped up area right there and a wrapped up piece of plastic you get a charger right here so you get a charge port that can go into a barrel plug and a charge an AC outlet. So you can go AC outlet or barrel plug. And those are the two chargers you get with this thing. All right, taking it out of the package there itself, let's just kind of go over the unit here. So you turn it on, you can see I'm at 88% power. You turn it on, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it says 88%. Battery indicator on the left-hand side, It's these are power outputs, and there's the one input. So that one input can be solar panel, can use a 12 volt out of a car, or something like that. And here's your USB outputs, it's got the type C, and then it's got the three, so that's a quick charger, and two USB ports, and it's got two, AC outlets so it's got AC USB and DC looking at the back you hold this down big huge LED light it's got a flashing feature and an always on pretty cool that they have that on there and then up top you have a 12 volt barrel plug that can kind of drop down in there let me just go ahead and, and use it and show you exactly how this thing works so number one let's say you have a orbital sander a palm sander like I have here which is basically it can run like a little palm sander you see how well it runs this palm sander this is where i think this palm sander is pulling 83 watts on the the power there so let's turn that off how awesome is that that's what that's something i tried it with my big drill and a, a hot air gun you're not going to be able to go over 300 watts so there's 80 so we got a little flashlight let's see if it charges this Let's run this into one of the USB outputs, and then you're gonna hit the USB button. A light came up down here that it is on. And then plug, this is a USB mini. It is charging. I see that it has a charge on it. It's pulling less than two watts. I'm gonna plug that into the quick charge, and this is my GoPro batteries. Check it out, it's charging that too. We're at seven watts between the both of these. And then turn that on. How about that, everybody? We're only, we're still less than 100 watts. This is running this little electric orbital sander and it's charging a flashlight and GoPro batteries. To me, this is one of the best uses for it. If I was gonna be sanding outside, I don't have to run extension cords everywhere. But also, if you were gonna be charging a laptop or any type of cell phone or anything like that this would come in really handy right here let me show you another feature so let's go ahead and put this thing on a solar panel and see how much energy we can get out of a solar panel so let's take it over i have the solar panel up the sun's about to go down so i need to hurry all right i got the solar panel set up here i don't have it's not got a lot of sun today it's a little bit of a cloudy overcast so this is a go for it 100 watt solar panel i'm going to lay it down flat like that it's got the barrel plugs on it but it also has several other barrel plugs that can fit a wide variety of um of power banks so let's go ahead and plug that in as soon as i plugged it in you guys probably can't see that in the camera but right now i have 15 watts and climbing so 15 watts coming out of the solar panel there 
So technically, if I had this solar panel put, hooked up, I can stay off the grid 100% and run basic lights, charge my cell phone, charge a laptop, things like that. That thing works extremely well. It's basically, I think this is the perfect item for like off the grid power surge if you had power outages or just doing some camping and you didn't need to use a lot of energy. I highly recommend one of these. Let this set out here for about 15 minutes now to see how much. I'm at 45 right now. I'm getting 45 watts from the sun coming in, so 100% off the grid. So yeah, that's all I got today on the Primax 300 watt solar panel portable battery bank. See you guys in the next video. Woo.